A plus-sized Jewish lady redneck died in El Paso on Saturday. It's the larger-than-life tribute for Renee Mandel Corin. I'm, I'm slightly ticked that she's not here to enjoy the spoils of her success because her story, uh, as funny as it is, is really a story about resilience and, um, and a busy middle finger. <laughs> Renee's son Andy publishing the homage to his mom in the towns where she spent most of her life. A more disrespectful, trash reading, talking, and watching woman in North Carolina, Florida, or Texas was not to be found. I wanted to make sure uh, that everywhere that she had friends and a friend group and cousins and families got the news that um, this great old scoundrel had left us. The eulogy, now read by millions. I find it very comforting. Most people don't get a chance to have their mother's name splashed in the Jerusalem Post or on ABC News. What would your mother say about all of this newfound celebrity? Well, uh, she's a Jewish mother, so I think I, you know, can say that she would enjoy it very, very much. I'm sorry that she's not around to uh, take a lap. Andy writing, COVID couldn't kill Renee. Neither could pneumonia twice, infections, blood clots, bad feet, breast cancer twice, or an affair with Larry King in the 60s. Was there ever a moment where you were like, I'm going a little too far here? I mean, yes. <laughs> the whole time uh, I was writing it for her so that she could hear some of it while I, which, because, you know, I would share my writing with her over the years. And so she did laugh. And I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll just, Keep going because it made her laugh. And he's saying he couldn't fit all of Renee's stories into what was published. Hers was a body, rowdy life lived large, broke and loud, but honored that it's touched so many, even in so few words. With, with really, with no hesitation, they would have loved her and she would have loved them. Andy tells me the family is planning a celebration of life for Renee in Fayetteville, North Carolina on May 10th, what would have been her 85th birthday at the local bowling alley where she loved to hang out and gamble, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less. That's how we should all be remembered, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.